Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you a cute fun fold that's a gate fold and it's the version 2. I saw this from a fellow demonstrator that's in my downline and her name is France Martin. I thought it was so cool and I wanted to show it to you. We're going to start with using a suite that is actually an online suite. I'm using the Golden Greenery stamp set and it actually lends itself to Christmas, but I'm not using it as Christmas because it's got such cool patterns to it. I love the greenery in this stamp set. And I'm going to be using the Season of Gold Designer Series paper. Usually one side has got the gold print on it and the other side has the doll. Also, I've used the gold greenery dies and everyday details dies. This is the gatefold card template and you can see you score two and four and two inches from this way and four. And then that creates your center part of your card. And a different detail we're adding to it is we're gonna trim this off and we're gonna use these two pieces. Let me show you how that works. And I've already pre-cut this 12 by five and a quarter. I'm gonna get my stamp and trimmer over here and I'm gonna start with the scoring tool and right here, I want to make sure that my cutting tool is out of the way so I don't make the mistake of cutting it. So I'm going to start with the two inches score and go to the next two inches, which is at four inches. And then I'm going to flip this around and go two again and four. Okay, we've got that all scored. I'm going to mark this at two and three quarters. So I'll put a little hashtag right there and it won't, it will be fine. And then this other side also two and three quarters. Put a little mark there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fold these score lines into the gate fold. This is gonna be the inside of the card and this will be some of the outside of the card. Right now you'll just see the one pattern. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is trim this at a diagonal to that two and three quarter mark and it's going to be right from that little spot to the second score mark. Okay, so let's get the trimmer out on this one. Okay, so there's that little piece. You want to keep this piece and then the hashtag mark on the other piece right here. And the two and three quarters is from the top down and go ahead and trim that. Okay, don't get rid of these because you're going to actually use them. Okay, so then you can see the cool gold on that. You want to make sure that you take your bone folder and really crease those edges really good back and forth so that they lay flat. Get those creases down really nicely. So when you close it, it closes better because it lays flat. Now from there, we're going to take these pieces. You're going to go ahead and mount that on the inside just a tad from the score mark so you're not putting too much bulk right there. So let's go ahead and put adhesive on it. And you're going to have the opposite end up. So I want the gold end showing. So I'm going to make sure that I am not in the crease all the way, just a tad bit, because you don't want all that bulk. And then you line it from the bottom and go over. Now you take that crease again and you go ahead and score it really good. Okay, so you've got that side. Now this is what it looks like. It has the three different patterns on it. Now we'll take this side and we're gonna put it down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on it. Just wanna get it all on the edges too. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and line that up just the side inside the crease on the left-hand side of the crease for this side and on the bottom and press that down real good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and crease it again because it's going backwards on the crease that it was before. So that's why you wanna take your bone folder and really crease that good on both sides. Okay, then we've got this look. So this is the inside and this is the outside. All right, let's go ahead and put it together so you can see how it goes. Now I went ahead and cut, this is the base of the card. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter and this is gonna go right on top. So let's go ahead and put that on. You can not use the base if you don't want to, but I like, it gives it a little bit more body to the card. Okay, so we've got that look. 
Now let's go ahead and put the inside. This one is on the inside and it's five by three and three fourths. So that's gonna be the inside solid color to frame what you've stamped for the inside. And it's got a quarter of an inch all the way around the inside of the card. And then we have the white piece, which is a quarter of an inch smaller than that, which is four and three quarters by three and a half. So that's the inside of the card. I love it already. Now your focal point goes right here. Now you can add some embellishments to this gate card fold. Let me show you what I did with this. I went ahead and used some foil. I love this graceful greenery vellum that also comes with the suite because it already has these printed on it. So all you have to do is cut them out. And then, now you can see how that looks just so pretty with that extra spot right here of giving the gold. So you've got that, the threesome in three in designs is really nice. I had to show you how the designer series paper in this paper pack, just the different options. I love it how they put the gray in there and the mossy meadow in there. It's beautiful. Look at that gold. So I just couldn't show you just one. I had to show you all the combinations. Actually, there's more than this. This is just three of the six combinations of this designer series paper. I wanna encourage you to try this version two of the gatefold card. And you'll love this suite of the season of gold and green. If you haven't picked one up today, it's great for every day and weddings and holidays. So pick one up today and click the links below. If you wanna see the version one of the gatefold card, it's in the description below. If you'd like to see the measurements and more details on these cards, then click the blog post on the link below. And if you haven't seen or subscribed to our channel, we have a weekly video every week. And we hope to see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.